Autonomous vehicles are just coming online with companies like Uber and Google building their own self-driving cars. But did you know it's been common practice in the agricultural world? Yeah, John Deere's been making autonomous tractors for years now, and I've come here to the heartland to find out how that equipment is helping farmers become better and more efficient. So I'm here at the John Deere test farm facility with my dude Marcus. He's driving this thing for me because they pretty much won't let me behind the wheel, which is a good, probably a good thing. So uh, what is this that we're in? Uh, we are in a combine. It is a model uh, S670. Okay. What does a combine do? Uh, any, any small grain that will harvest. Okay. And what's kind of cool about this is that this vehicle will drive itself. Correct. With me and with an operator in the seat, we can uh, we can use either a predetermined guidance line, okay, or a what they call row sense, which uh, is when you're in the middle of a cornfield, we can feel where the corn is at, and it'll, uh, it'll drive it for us. And so, and with the GPS, it can it can it knows where you are down to an inch, right? So it knows exactly sub what, inch. a sub inch. Yep. So it knows exactly where you are going to be within a row, so you're not like spraying a row twice, or you're not. Yep harvesting a row twice. It's making everything be very, very precise and more efficient. Yep. He's going to come up behind us. Okay. And once he gets in my min, in my uh, in my zone here, he'll be able to... Oh, there he is. Yep. Okay. So, so he's then, almost to the zone. Once he's, in, once he's in the zone, he'll hit his resume button and okay. he's synced up with us. Oh my gosh, he's following you. And his hands are not on the wheel. So right now, no foot on any pedal. You're like this. No hands. No, look, no, look, my no hands. Yep. Now, does this control throttle as well? Yep. We're both auto tracking. Okay. And he's going to stay that same distance from me as we go. How accessible is this technology to farmers? It is, it's available to everybody. Not only the latest and greatest technology have the latest and greatest, but also making it available to uh, older specs uh -huh. or older models and non-John Deere models as well. So oh, if okay. you've got a, because not everybody, as much as we want to say it, not everybody's got all John Deere equipment. We right. know that. Um, so we've made it though that you can take this technology and, and put it in all of your other equipment oh, and, nice. still, and still maintain the same connectivity with your fleet uh, that oh. you would with if you had an all, all green fleet or an all brand new set wow. of equipment. So. I think the most surprising thing I learned during my time out here is that farmers are a bunch of nerds. There is so much more technology that goes into this equipment than I ever dreamed possible. And as the agricultural autonomy world gets better and the car autonomy world gets better, it'll be interesting to see how these two worlds can share technology and make the future better for everyone. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got some acres to plow. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Ha <laughs> ha!